Welcome to the Easy Clocking Software Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to provide employees access to the employee portal. This is useful for employees as it provides them with a means to seeing their hours worked for the week. Employees also have their own dashboard for time card view and can see schedules for a week or month depending on the company settings. They also have access to PTO, paid time off, and can request specific days off using their PTO. Prior to granting access to the employee portal, an employee must be created within the software. If you already have an employee created, you need only select the Access Level sub-tab under the Users tab from the main selection menu taskbar. Let's go ahead and grant John Smith access to the employee portal. In order to create an access level, the employee selected must have a valid email associated to their profile. If you'd like to grant access to the employee portal, select the Yes option. If you'd like to allow the employee to manage the time card, you may do so here. You must grant the employee a username to log in. Under the Enter the Password to Log In field, you have the option of selecting Keep Password if the employee already has a password associated to their profile. You may have the computer auto-generate a randomized password for the employee by selecting Auto-Generate Password. Or you may assign a password to the user by selecting Enter Password Manually. We're going to go ahead and allow the computer to auto-generate a password for this employee. To assign the employee management privileges, select Yes. To assign the user full privileges, select Yes. If not, select No, and you will have the option to specify which privileges within the privilege groups pre-registered within the software to assign to said employee. You also have the option of specifying whether the employee can see pay rates associated to other employees within the software. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will assign the employee full management privileges. Upon completion, to confirm changes enacted to employee profile, select the Save option, located in the bottom right-hand corner of the Access Level tab. A verification message will appear upon successful completion of this process. Select OK. This concludes the Granting Access to Employee Portal tutorial.